The British Board of Film Classification have launched a commission into racism and discrimination in films and TV shows and found that parents are concerned about children imitating potentially discriminatory behaviour or language. Parents are looking to the BBFC's certification of movies and guidance to make more informed viewing choices for their children. Well, as a result, the, BAP, the BBFC says it will adopt a stricter position on classifying racist language and actors portraying assumed racial identities. Well, David Austin is the BBFC chief executive and joins us now. A very good morning to you. Hello. Thanks for inviting me on the show. Well, it's good to see you. Now, we're talking about movies in which actors black up, such as Laurence Olivier in Othello. What will, what, what's the recommendation now as to how parents will be aware of that before they watch it? I think what we found in the research is that um, we, one, one thing we wanted to check is how people felt about this kind of assumed racial identity. And they, they didn't like the word blackface, which is, is offensive to, to, to many people. And what they said about older films is that they're of their time. We understand that you know, this, you know, this, this was not uncommon back in the day. And often a content warning would be enough. And we would say you know, an, an actor taking a, a, an assumed racial identity rather than uh, raising the age rating. And one of the things that they also said is that we need to take account in classifying these older films about the intent of the, of, of the depiction in the film. Is it respectful or is it offensive? And people do a clear line, for example, between Alec Guinness in Lawrence of Arabia, who a white actor playing an Arab in, in a very respectful portrayal, against Mickey Rooney, who plays a grotesque caricature of a Japanese man in, in Breakfast at Tiffany's. So they, the people said, you know, the, Lawrence of Arabia could have a lower classification than Breakfast at Tiffany's because of the different intent behind the, um, the portrayal. And people said, but in modern films, you know, this is no longer acceptable. And um, we, we would need to warn people that this is happening um, in, in, in a film if it happens these days. But to be honest, it's, it's, it's more or less a thing of the past. You, you meant Peter O'Toole, don't you, in, in Lawrence of Arabia? Yeah, well, I mean, the, 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 you, you mentioned Othello. There were all sorts of all sorts of characters, but Alec Guinness certainly played a um, a, a, a non-white character in Lawrence of Arabia. So, can you explain the process that you're going to go through? Is there going to be a panel of people who assess things and work out what is problematic, what isn't, what kind of warnings to provide? Yeah, so we we classify films. We classify thousands of films and and, and videos and TV content every year. We have a highly trained uh, team of examiners, and on the back of this research, we'll be looking at adjusting our policies and, you know, for example, in, 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 in that kind of depiction, use of the N-word. So we'll classify films using the same processes. So people sit down in front of a film, they watch the film, they analyse it, they note the key moments, and at the end of it, they make a recommendation as to what, um, what the age category should be. And that recommendation and all our standards are based on large-scale public consultations. So in addition to this kind of quite uh, tight research looking at a particular issue, every four years we talk to 10,000 members of the public the length and breadth of the UK, and people tell us what's acceptable in terms of sex, violence, language, throughout all the age categories. So the, the way we do it will be the same, but we will be adjusting our standards slightly. And one of the areas is, is that we, we, we're, we're adjusting is use of the N-word, which people have told us is, is now virtually never acceptable as under 12. And a film we classified PG a few years ago called Race, which is a, a biopic about the American sprinter Jesse Owens, included use of the N-word directed against him. And we, we were thinking, is this PG, is it 12A? 12 12A? And we thought, well, the film has so many positive messages about overcoming adversity, and it's such an anti-racist film that we thought PG would be, would be the right category, despite the use of the N-word. But having done this research, people told us, we understand all those reasons that mitigate the offence in the use of the word, but we still think we should. It's such, it's such a powerful and offensive word that we think we should have rated it 12. So if the film were to come in again or another film with similar use of language, you would classify that well. David, is there an acceptance that some films, older films, obviously, are a product of their time? And, and how difficult is it to assess how you mark that in terms of warning the public what to expect? Yes, yeah, so there's absolutely that recognition completely, and people understand, say, please don't uprate a film. You know, we, you know, we understand it was made in 1930 or 1940, but put a warning on. So, um, I mean, one of the films we looked at was Dumbo, and there's a scene in Dumbo in which there are some crows who are behaving in a it's a racial stereotyping involving these characters who are crows. And Dumbo has a U rating, and people were pretty unanimous in saying, don't uprate Dumbo to a higher category. 
it's a really good children's film, but we want to be told that there is racial stereotyping in this film. So Dumbo does have, in fact, um, a warning of racial stereotyping. And, and pa parents are really interesting in this. They, 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 we, we found really that parents split, split into two camps. There are protectors who want their children to be children for as long as possible, and they, they don't want to show the, their children film with, with perhaps with, with racial stereotyping. And there are preparers who want to know there's racial stereotyping so they can use that as a conversation starter with their children. They would see Dumbo as a teaching moment. And there's, there's a, there was a, another film that we showed to, to the public called Horrible Histories, and it was about the civil rights movement in the United States. And it, 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 in the film, it used the word coloured, and it talked about racism in, in, in the US. And we gave the film a PG because of the racist language and, and, and racism. And most of the respondents in this research said, actually, you know, we would have liked you to have given that a U because it is a real teaching moment. But whether you're a protector or a preparer as a parent, you want content warnings. So something like racial stereotyping is a really good content warning for them. David, just really quickly, how do you personally feel about the responsibility to get this right? It's absolutely our responsibility. I mean, one of the reasons that we, we have such high levels of trust with 83% of parents saying, they trust us all or our decisions all or most of the time. We have to get it right. Uh, it's, it's completely our duty. So that is why we talk to people the length and the breadth of the UK on a frequent basis on a whole range of issues. We did some research into domestic abuse last year to ensure that, what, that all our decisions and all our standards reflect what the public expects from us. David, I've just had an email from Simon, and I don't know if this comes under your remit. It perhaps does. Are you going to give a warning to people that it's a woman who plays Bart Simpson? No, no. The research focused on these old fashioned um, portrayals of assumed racial identity in old films. We haven't we haven't um, considered uh, that that issue at all. Fine. Just thought I'd, I'd just put it out there. Uh, David, it's really good of you to join. 